Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. Yeah, my name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover, and, and you know what, today we're going to continue to kick some Mexican booty. Now, you got to realize that the best defense to ensure that America is truly safe, you got to think about your neighbors. And if your neighbors are so ideologically different than you, well, you pretty much just have to go to war with them. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to continue kicking in some, uh, some teeth down here, having a good time. You know, the best defense is a good offense. Wait. Anyways, um, yeah, we're just going to continue making sure that our southern border is fully under control and that Yucatan, or the Yucatan, which really doesn't hate us too much, is maybe a part of Mexico. I've never really played as this country. Yucatan. Yucatan. I think it's Yucatan. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm an American. I don't know. Land of the free, well, we'll see about that. Cool. Anyways, uh, yep, our ships are doing okay. Eventually, our subs did make it down here. We have 92% sea coverage. Not bad, not bad, and we're just pretty much waiting for this to finish up. Obviously, we have a couple soldiers that we sent to Europe that are now back in close to Washington. So, we'll put them in Baltimore, I guess, one as well. Three in Washington, our capital, as we watch the Reich's Pact get a little flustered as to trying to defend and attack against its enemies. Hmm. But other than that, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, not much is going on, at least for me right now. But it looks like the Germans, they really don't like to keep... Ooh. Federalist bombings. Great. They really don't like Central Germany very much. Really don't like, don't like to defend this portion of their country. Oh, they go to war with Denmark. Hmm. Alright, well, so be it. So be it. Oh, do we have some unassigned divisions? Ooh la la. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like to see that over here we have some motorized equipment still used from the American Union state, some Japanese rifles, and some Pacific M1 Garands. Yes, it's pronounced Garands, not Garands. I looked this up several times. Last time I checked it, it was pronounced Garands. So, cool. Uh, let's see, what are you doing down here? Oh, you have no orders. Well, these Mexicans are surrounded. Five divisions? Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. Baja California is looking pretty good. Oh, the international peace movement disbanded. The revolution against capitalism drew a line in the sand. You were either with the Union or a scab. That mantra worked for John Reed, but not for Earl Browder. It has come to his attention, though, that it is a despicable group of infiltrators into the New America in the form of the Third Intern... or the... International Peace Movement, the IPM, this dangerous group led by a little man who thinks he's God, has resisted conscription and collectivization. Their communes in New York and Philadelphia may be racially integrated, but their adherence to gender segregation in the name of a religious code is utterly reactionary. We have seized IPM members for deprogramming, and their communes are now safely in the hands of the Trade Union Unity League members. Ah. I love the... Uh, Earl Browder, Totalist, what government, what government am I? Uh, I love the League, yeah. I was going to say I love the Republic, but it didn't exactly work out that way. Awesome. You know what, we're just going to make Benjamin Katine very strong. Very, very strong. Wow. Some of these divisions just don't care where they're going. They're just like, up. Oh, I'm going to go wherever I feel like. And that's totally, totally okay with me. Do we need any more things? We need more rubber, but we're not extracting any. We need more chromium, but I'm barely extracting any. So extraction really won't matter very much. 41. Uh, let's see. Ballistic computers I never do because it lowers reliability. Uh, yes. We could probably do better planes. I do need to do tanks, but obviously that's going to have to be... That's going to have to wait for a while. Alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, let you guys also help out down here. We have... M at least, I think. Okay, maybe we don't have enough equipment. We need more guns. Guns, 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 guns. Nothing says America like guns. You know what? That's fine. Go and lower that by 10. Get some more guns in the field. We could really use them. And... Oh, the fall of Mexico City. Very good. Very, very good. The heart of Mexico is ours. Assembly line production. Oh, my goodness. So, you're done. You... Oh. Why? Guys... Why? Greece. Come on, man. I'm just trying to help you out here. I'm trying to help you by buying your goods so that we can establish a better 
relationship with each other because that's all I want to do is you know trade things and promote totalism across the world that's all I want to do uh, where are you guys at you guys are kind of central North Mexico I'll put you around Guad Guadalajara Guadalajara yes very good I never took Spanish in high school oh well that's all right with me let's see what else is going on what is Cuba doing Cuba, you are paternal autocratic. That's a weird stash. That's, in my opinion, that might just be a little bit too long for this stash. Let me just maybe get rid of that a little bit over there, a little bit over there. But not not like a Hitler stash. No, that, that that would be very cool. But you know, just long enough to be a, its own thing. But this might be just a little bit too long. I don't know why I'm talking about the guy's mustache though. Ooh, integ integrate, integrate, int ingratiate Afro-Cubans. Yes, words are hard, friends. Words are hard. Lessons from the revolution. Very nice. Two land bonus, land doctrine bonuses. Uh, Fifty days just to change your name. Not worth it, especially when we have the American first. We got to deal with. So, let's go ahead and punish some American traitors. Very cool. Let's see what's going on here, you guys. Actually, where are you headed? You're headed that way. So we're gonna go down here. Here. Very awesome, Mexico. What is your military like right now? See, I'm just trying to help out the Mexican population. I mean, you see how many left-wing people there are? With a lot of radical socialists, syndicalists, and totalists compared to the national populace? They're ripe for a civil war, so I'm just trying to help them understand their place in the world. But anyways, we have the primer of God Save King Billy. Today, Charlie Chaplin has premiered another movie titled God Save the Kaiser, which has quickly received glowing reviews within the press. God Save the Kaiser is a political satirical comedy drama and Chaplin's first true sound film. The film follows two principal characters, an unnamed German barber struggling to make ends meet in Germany, who bears a great deal of similarity with the tramp that Chaplin played in his other movies. The other major character is Billy King, who is a cruel but ineffective buffoon of a leader, an obvious satire of King Vil uh, Wilhelm II, King Kaiser. Yeah. Throughout the film, it shows the plight of the average German worker while viciously mocking the German government and the Kaiser in particular. The film ends with the barber being mistaken for Billy King and giving a rousing speech where he extols the virtues of goodwill and human brotherhood and gets a strong endorsement for Chaplin's socialist views. Ah, oh, Chaplin, you've really done out, outdone yourself. Oh, good, so good. Uh, let's see. Oh, and also, I didn't show you guys this last time. I didn't realize it, but with one of those focuses to rebuild America, we've got a lot of things that we can rebuild then, and we can get some more stability, war support, as well as cores on other portions of the country. I could do Alaska, but if I core Alaska, let's see, they're only a colony. There ain't that many people here, so I'm going to wait. Maybe I'll wait for, like, New England or something, since we do have New England over here. Or maybe I'll just do the South in general. That might be pretty good for us. Cool, a couple more divisions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll put you under Oliver Law now. And how close is Mexico to capitulating? They're very close. They've suffered about a quarter of a million casualties. Not bad, not bad. And I've suffered, well, only 15,000. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Let's see, for you guys, just make you make it over here. And you guys are taking La Paz. Take all but you and hold. And then they can go somewhere else if they need to. Very good. Mexico, Yucatan. Yeah, I'm going to reunite Yucatan with Mexico. Just make them a little bit stronger. Uh, Guadalajara, a little laggy, but that's okay. It wouldn't be Kaiser Reich without a little bit of lag. What are we building? Building a lot of civilian factories, a lot of refineries actually, and a military factory. Might need a naval dockyard, but we really don't have the naval tech for it. And my goodness, this game is lagging very hard right now. Wow. And of course, we still have a lot of infrastructure to build up as well. I'm hoping that very soon the game will not lag or just completely freeze. Oh wait, there we go. Austria intervenes in the Second Weltkrieg. While some military minds in Europe have believed that any inevitable continental war would be over in a matter of months due to a powerful new technological, new technological advances, however, any ling lingering delusions about the scale of modern warfare have quickly vanished in the face of torrid tales of brutality coming out of the conflict-ravaged Western Europe. 
Vienna has looked on with trepidation at the rearmament of syndicalist powers for years, but now with open conflict threatening to upturn the balance of power in Europe, they have decided to openly intervene against the Internationale. Already, Imperial troops are marching against syndicalist forces, posing new threat to the World Revolution. Hmm, it wouldn't be a Weltkrieg without Austria. Very cool. Ah, just whenever the game freezes that hard, you're always a little bit worried that it's just going to crash. And I don't like that feeling. I really don't. But usually the game doesn't crash, but you never know. Alright, so what happened over here? So, the Donau Adria Bund is now at war with the Third International, which has slowed its advance, I think, maybe a little bit. Not a whole bunch, but a little bit. So now the SRI has to fight all of Italy over here, but that's not too bad. But they also fight two Sicilies, which isn't very good, but Mexico is gone. Cool. Um... Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what happens for the Dona Edribon. All right, I'll take everything. Thank you. Wow, the Russians are just not doing well at all. I mean, they've got pretty good manpower, a lot of divisions. They're not fighting the Mongolians anymore. They're just fighting the Reichspact, but even then, the Reichspact is like, well, we're going to push into Russia as we lose ground in Germany. All right, so let's go ahead and release Mexico. After a long campaign across Mexico, the second... Mexi American Mexican War, we have finally managed to shatter the Mexican defenses. Well, I really wouldn't call them defenses, they're more like dirt mounds. Mexico City is now in our hands. We must not decide on the future of Mexico. Military occupation is not our thing. We will liberate Mexico under a friendly regime. Government. Not regime, government. Yeah. Ah, ah, Mexico. Thank you. Ah, nice flag. Very nice. Under Plutarco Cal Calle. Calles. Oh, and they lost a lot of national spirits, but that's okay. They've got quite a bit of manpower. And they are our loyal, loyal ally. You know what? I don't think I need a lot of divisions to attack Yucatan. I'm just going to say that now. They have up to 13 divisions. So I'm just going to throw ahead George H. Cannon onto here. He's level 6. He should get the job done. And since Mexico is my puppet, I can build stuff in their lands. Great, 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 great. You know, I'm going to help Mexico out a little bit. I'm going to build some infrastructure over there too. <clears throat> Mexico. Mexico. I just liberated you. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Look, you know, I, I did say def the best defense is a good offense. And our neighbors really do influence how we do things. But I didn't give you permission to go to war with them, Mexico. I mean, come on, guys. Seriously. Seriously. Um, you're fighting Mexico. I mean, it's one thing if you all have, like, claims or something on their lands. Do you have claims? No, you're losing land already. Oh, I guess you do have claims on Guatemala. I, oh, I guess you do have claims on all, all these stuff. You know what? Hmm. In the name of national security, I will help Mexico claim all that area. We can make a very strong southern neighbor who does ideologically support us and aligns very well with other international members. So, I think that's okay doing that. Now, I don't want to trade with people who don't really follow any sort of syndicalist beliefs. But I want at least eight, which doesn't look like it's going to happen. German, East Asian, no. Alright, that's better, a little better, I guess. Alright then, whatever. Um, can I, can I help you, Mexico? Like, since you did go to war with them, and you are my puppet, I feel obliged that I might need to help you out just a little bit. Uh, are we winning without any organization? Sure. What type of the division, we can't tell what type of divisions they have. Alright. Uh, how many ships do you have? They have four ships. Not a ton of man, they're on scraping the power, scraping the power, scraping the barrel. I can't talk to you guys, I'm sorry. But I think you'll forgive me. Hopefully. Probably. Unfulfilled import requests. Yeah, we just need a lot more guns and artillery. Hmm. We're gonna tell you to go be a little bit more balanced in your strikes. Go that way. You know what, if you can come down this way, that'd be great too. Just try it out. You're gonna wear out the enemy pretty well. Let's see, we sunk... Wait. Is that Haitian? Seven cruisers. 
Wait, who are we fighting? Panama, Haiti, and Central American Confederation. Okay, so we're at war with Haiti. I did not realize that, and that's okay with me. Why don't you guys come up here, and we're going to invade... Ooh, actually, Haiti's over... Uh, actually, I need you down here, then. So I can get to a port around here and invade Haiti this way. Haiti took out the Dominican Republic. Okay, then. The Catholic Workers' Movement. While a good number of religious have protested the effects of the revolution, that is not true for all groups. Of these groups, that one has attracted the most attention and popularity recently is the Catholic Workers' Movement. Led by Comrade Dorothy Day, ooh, movement has attracted popularity for combining Catholicism with socialist values. They focus on the concept of works of mercy as well as have built a number of hospitality houses in many major cities and even smaller towns. The hospitality houses are acting as support shelters for those trying to return to civilian life now that the revolution has come to fruition. Live in accordance with the justice and charity of Jesus Christ. Very cool. Awesome. I do still want to go to war with the Yucatan, though, because that is Mexican territory, and something tells me if I don't go to war with them, Mexico will go to war with them anyways. Let's see. You all are not down here, but, you know, that's okay. Oh, that's not good. Since you're moving, you're losing a lot of supplies, but if you're not moving, you're kind of doing okay. Federal's bombing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deal with the American first. Well, to help our stability and war support, let's see, who are we going to rebuild first? Let's see, they all give me like three. You know what, I want to rebuild the south first, just because I'm dealing with the American first, and if we can do both at the same time, that'll turn the people, the normal people, to embrace us more than uh, the former remnants of the American first party. If we can show the people that we mean no harm to them and we want to support them, then they will and they will accept us. At least that's the plan. Nice, we're almost done with another refinery, and we have no rubber. <clears throat> okay then, now we have two rubber. Great. A whole dose of roberos. Cool. Oh god, these casualties. Fifty-eight thousand, fifty-nine thousand. Yes, and this country not doing so great right now. How is Europe looking? Well, Europe... <laughs> Iberia is very red, reddish pink. Uh, the French have definitely solidified the control down here. That's pretty good. Deal with the American first. Destroy Jim Crow, which will be extremely good for us. So we can rid ourselves of southern terrorists, and it will not just be a matter of military. We might need to uproot the bigotry and racism that's plagued America for centuries and crush Long's cult of personality. Let us make Lincoln proud and bring it down old Dixie once and for all. Yes, I didn't read that completely right, but you know what I meant. Actually, how close? Russia isn't that close to capitulating, but let's check. J Japanese German War. Let's see. Oh boy. German East Asia is about gone. Russia, eh, it's about like 35%. 30%. Oh, I called it. It was 36%. I said 35. Close enough. Cool. So, the trial of the American First Party. I need a sip of coffee first, though. Ah, very nice. With the revolution over, the time now comes to deal with those that fought against us. Huey Long, so according to Obrada, could have been a great ally to socialism. <clears throat> we do admit that Long's plan for welfare was in the right direction, but his authoritarian practice was abhorrent. As Long's family and close associates are now in exile, we'll have to deal, make do with putting the leaders that remain in chains. Francis Townsend has defended the actions of the AFP's core membership, saying that the radical militarism was due to the nature of Southern populism, not Huey Longism. Some and jury have been swayed, but the final decision is to... Oh, we can get a couple commanders. Convict them, more popularity, totalism. Well, I do like having everyone believe one thing. Seize and arrest all party members. Uh, I'm not doing this one. I don't want to lose any more stability. I lose political power, but I... Oh, I get Chesty Pooler. Oh, my goodness. But if I get more popularity of totalism. But I think that's okay. We have it already enough, right? But I do need to do this. Um, I could use more weekly war support. You know what? Why not? Sounds like a fun thing to do. We could send in the army eventually to get more weekly stability and solidify control. Well, maybe not. Well, it, I am at 66% popularity. That's already pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and pardon them because the best way to embrace some of your former enemies and to dismantle their ideology is to embrace them and re-educate them. And we get some extra generals and 
a naval commander, and I kind of like Chesty Puller, so I think he's really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason why I pardoned all three of them is because one guy I kind of think is cool. Ah, you gotta love totalism. Cool, awesome. Uh, Eighty-one thousand, four thousand. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that the Central American Confederation really has like artillery on their divisions. Maybe they do. I mean, I'm out of artillery, even though I just have an upgrade for when we do get artillery, but... Ooh. I want more artillery strikes. Yeah, seriously, what the heck. Yeah, they got horses, and they got some infantry. Just artillery is so key to actually doing some damage if you want to do damage with uh, infantry. You gotta have artillery. At the bare minimum, support artillery. It's so good. Uh, Benjamin Katine, you're doing a great job, man. Great, great job. I have an email. Oh, never mind. Not very interesting. Okay. Let's see. We get about 1.23 click fire a day. Grapes of Wrath Primer. Today, the film, Grapes of Wrath, premiered in theaters today. The film is based on the book of the same name and follows the Jode family, a family from Oklahoma and their troubles during the Depression prior to the Revolution. It does deviate from the book with the ending on a much more hopeful and optimistic tone and shows a family working to help out with the Revolution overthrow the California work camp. The film has been well regarded by both critics and the public as a necessary edit. Ah, more political power. What happened here? Oh, it's Mexico. Uh, long as bombing, whatever. But yeah, actually, I think I have seen the... I have read the original Grapes... Was it the Grapes of Wrath? Gone, no, it's Gone with the Wind, yeah. I always get those two mixed up. Grapes of Wrath and Gone with the Wind. I've read both. I don't remember very much, but I remember Gone with the Wind has a really kind of strange ending. But, you know, it's a book. That's good. Keep building, keep building, building, building. I will include, though, one more military factory that needs to get probably built. Um, okay, by one more military factory, I mean five more. You know what I mean. We haven't found too many other ships. How many ships does Haiti have? We did find a few of them. Um, four. And you guys have none. This group over here, my screens, have done a really great job. I have nine cruisers and 16 destroyers. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to send two of you to repair. Because we have three dockyards. And what are we building in terms of ships? We have improved heavy carrier, which means I need to make some carrier planes. And I'm trying to make some dreadnoughts. And these dreadnoughts, I think they're actually like super heavy battleships. If you compare them to vanilla. You know, vanilla Hoi 4. So I'm trying to build a lot of those. Obviously, we do have some more subs. How many subs do I have now? 17. Not bad. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. You know, I don't think you're doing very much. That's all right. We don't really need to do very much. How much longer until you guys capitulate? And I will give all of these guys all this land to Mexico to make them strong. And maybe help reduce the lag just by a little bit. The less countries that there are, the better. At least for lag. At least for a little part. Same thing with Haiti. I might just end up forming something like the West Indies Union. Just because to minimize the number of countries that are available. Because, as you can tell, it's kind of laggy. And Alba Albania's gone. What the heck? So, who, who took... Union of Britain invaded Albania. All the way from over here, they invaded Albania. Well, then. Interesting. Uh, of course, they are fighting the Dona Edrebund, which is doing okay against the Italians, while the French and the British are doing a number on the Germans. Wait. You guys... Did you guys come back, or... You released the Walloon Communal Republic? As well as a Flemish Communal Republic? Oh, so good. As well as the Commune of Luxembourg. Charles Marx? Oh, where's Rosa Luxembourg? Where is that waifu? Come on, man. Oh, it looks like they're, they're not doing so well over here anymore. they kind of been beaten down from the north, but they're still pushing, and they took out Moscow a while ago. Wow. Europe is just a mess. But then again, Europe is always a mess. Alright, so I'm going to just tell you. Just take all the states. There you go. One less country to deal with. Since you guys are already over there, you guys come up here. Do that. And how many more days do we have until we can take out Yucatan? Only 50 more days. Improved Dreadnought 3 whole module. Hmm. I don't use fast battleships. Armored heavy cruisers, I don't think are very good. I want more battleships, but I want better guns. 
Improved super heavy battery up. Oh, so this is super heavy battleships. Oh, okay. Wait, so. Advanced light ship hull. Capital ships. Advanced battleship hull. So I thought this was battle cruisers, and that these were just normal battleships. But no, these are dreadnoughts. Hmm. Oh well. Federal's bombing. Now we can really focus here at home about things that we need to do. And actually, you know what? I'm going to send four divisions for now, maybe to help out the Italians. Okay, I can't. We need to be at peace. Okay, we're not at peace. I forgot. We're only at war with Haiti. We were at war with Panama, but they were taken out by the Canadians. Okay, then. Uh, let's see. You guys, give me, like, you four. I want you four to come from here and invade... Uh, invade this area. Haiti shouldn't have that many divisions, should they? They have eight. Mmm. Nice. So this we're done with that. Oh, God, I love coffee, man. Industry, we're pretty good on industry. Engineering, we're pretty good on engineering. I do want radar, though. We have to have radar. And we have heavy fighters. Great. No, I'm sure I'll take some stuff from them. I could upgrade my heavy fighters. And that's about what I can do for that. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Man, it is warm up here in my room. Holy cow. Let's see, we're making... Eh, we need to still make more guns. Military factories are good. Refiners are good. Still only making two rubber. Or, yeah. The People's Conserv Conservation Committee. Since the 1960 National Park Service Act, excuse me, Americans have been able to preserve national splendor safe from industrialization. Since the revolution has now been achieved, a, mo a movement has cropped up to combine this conservationism with these old progressive ideals. A number of new national parks have been created on top of houses of capitalism, as well as the People's Conservation Committee to guide their preservation. A top priority for the PP PCC is to replant trees around Oklahoma, the source of dust storms that threaten our food supply. Though it took a lot of convincing to get Congress to get funding for this project, the PCC hopes that in a few years the dust storms that used to reach Washington, D.C. will only be a memory. A revolutionary conservationism. Conserv conserv conservationism. Ecology. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. And... I don't think four divisions actually will probably be enough, so I'm going to send another four from here. And since we're going to attack Port au Prince, we might want to attack Son Domingo as well. So go ahead, prepare ourselves for that. We have about a month before we can do that. I want to tell George H. Cannon, go ahead, get ready. Anti-tank, fighter stuff, naval bombers. Alright, let's see. We still have... Wait. 50 days, oh my goodness. Oh, we have... Oh my goodness, a lack of political power. Okay, we destroyed Jim Crow, which is great. And actually, I'm not going to do a focus just yet. Wait, what is this? Fledling recovery of the Civil War. That's, that's getting better. Reconstruction is going okay. Overwhelming longest resistance. Well, that should probably go down soon, shouldn't it? I'm going to save my political power so we can go to war with the Yucatan a little bit faster. And let's see. Wow, the Communist France is just walloping the German Empire. Wowzers. Send in the army. To oh, here we go. Destroy the longest. Oh, we need more political power. Dang it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go continue to justify on Yucatan. And I'll do destroy longest terrorists. And then do another focus. I just need the political power right now. Because... I can't deal with this long as bombings. Wow. This is looking very bad for the German Empire. And I'm surprised. Uh, usually in my games, German Empire usually wallops the Commune of France, but I'm glad they are not this time around. Then again, they are at war with Russia, so it'll be very interesting to see how this area turns out. And then, of course, the International will have to take out the Austrian Empire, or the Dona Edriabund. What is this? Ottom Wait. The Ottomans? You're fighting the... Third international, but you're are you? Oh, long is bombing as well. Dang, you're fighting, you're fighting everyone, Russia. No wonder you're not doing so well. Holy cow! Oh, wait, what is this? 
Oh, so this is the princely states, but they were taken out by probably Madras or something. Huh. The Bharatiya Commune, of course, is still trying to fight the Dominion of India, and they're looks like they're kind of losing, perhaps? Maybe they're winning? I can't tell. I mean, they got a crap ton of manpower. I mean, that's a lot of men. That's a lot of Indian guys. But they're totalists, so we definitely support them. 1941, strategic bomber, naval bomber. Uh, we do have land auction stuff, so let's do that. Nice. Ooh, this. Cool. And Yucatan is still getting better and better. 45 more days. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta love coffee. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go with destroy long terrorists first. A little more stability always helps. And then I will go for another focus. 241, support companies. Yeah, logistic companies. Do we have over a thousand logistic companies? That's pretty good. And we can... Revolutionary Memorials! I will end the episode soon in just a little bit, but I want to do this first. With the revolution now over, countless memorials have gone up throughout the country to honor the sacrifice of the men and women that made this possible. While many honor those that fought for the revolution itself, there are also ones honoring the struggles like Haymar oh, the Haymarket Square Riot. I've heard about that. As these memorials are made by the community, no one was there to check whether the statue was appropriate until the press got a hold of the story. Apparently, statues were erected honoring the 1960 Preparedness Day bombing and the 1920 Wall Street bombing. The press claimed erroneously that the government approved of these memorials and are honoring the bombers. Oh, baby. These statues were silently taken down and official apology was forced out of the city councils responsible for this mean-spirited action. Lose political power. Oh, I'm doing this first before anything. Uh, do that. And, of course, we're at negative political power, which means we cannot go do this. But we are slowly, slowly destroying longest terrorists. With that in mind, though, we are positive in terms of political power. We can do another focus, and the next focus I will do is... Ooh, more stability. Um, I could do deal with the feds, but I could also do this. But I could do this. I'm going to do this, social revolution, so we get a little bit more stability, which might help us with the political power, so we can do more actions to destroy longest terrorists, as well as federal terrorists, and rebuild different parts of the country. So with that in mind, guys, we have helped... Take over Mex uh, liberate Mexico, uh, and we are now leading the charge into the Caribbean as we will invade Haiti in the next video. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will continue to try to maintain as a little bit maybe less edgy as possible. But regardless, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.